Hello everyone, Jim Roy here with Lux Manor Real Estate. So a couple of months ago, I did a video on the better vent. You can click here to take a look at that video. It was about installation and that kind of thing. Now I've had a chance to put it through the paces and see how it operates. I've got some thoughts, some cons, and some workarounds. So no affiliation with the company. I'm not being paid for this or anything like that. I just wanted to try out the product and do a review. So basically, first of all, if you're going to install this in a place where you've got a stacked washer and dryer, you're gonna to wanna to put it in a place where it's easily accessible. First of all, because you want that air to flow. And second of all, because you're gonna be accessing the filter on a regular basis. So let's go ahead and open it up. After every single load, I go ahead and open this and I clean out the secondary lint screen. I say secondary because the dryer comes with its own lint screen, which should be cleaned after every load. There's another filter. This is about as dirty as we would let this get. It basically comes this clean and after about a month's worth of use, it gets this dirty and you need about 12 of these per year, at least I do for a family of four, and we do a fair amount of laundry. So how the system operates is the warm air comes up through here. It's supposed to go through these two filtration systems and come out into the rest of the house. A problem is that a dryer like this one right here is powerful enough to, even when properly calibrated and weighted the little safety flap here at the top that's supposed to stay down until the filter gets dirty enough and then pops up and tells you it's time to change the filter. Even with a brand clean filter, properly weighted, the air will immediately, as soon as you turn it on, come up and start dispersing lint and everything throughout this room and not really getting it clean before the air comes out into your house. So the solution is I just found something heavy, drop this down, put it on top, if you're going to do that, great. Just be diligent about checking this on a regular basis. You don't want to impede the airflow that decreases the efficiency of the machine. And it also risks fires. We want to make sure that we have good airflow. And that's the same reason why you want to clean your ducts on a regular basis. You're the duct that takes all the air usually outside of the house. Now it's that time of year. We're heading into spring. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this from the vent itself. This is easily done with just a Phillips head screwdriver. This is a little part on top that loosens. You connect it to the other vent, you tighten it back up, and now the air flows outside the house rather than inside. Another problem that I had is that all the hot air would come in and it would be just in this area right here and maybe spill out into the hallway. When it does, it tells the thermostat, okay, it's time to turn off, it's warm enough in the house. But in the bedrooms, it's definitely not warm enough. So the solution I have for that was to turn this to fan on mode while running the dryer. And what happens then is that activates the motor and the, the fan, the blower within the HVAC system to suck air through the return and then disperse it out into the rest of the house where I want all that nice humid air. So one of the other things I like about this system is that I don't have to clean out the pipe taking the air outside the house. It's, it's a relatively long run of pipe and it's kind of difficult to clean it. And basically if I, have this system right here. It's much easier just to clean it right here on site. It's a shorter run. Now, if you've got an apartment and you don't really have the ability to switch to an outside system, just know that you're going to be having really warm air in the summertime when you don't want that warm air, just piping directly into your unit. So the big question is, is it worth it? And I think the answer is yes. I do think it adds value. I think it is going to save me on heating bills. It wasn't very expensive to buy it and the filters aren't that expensive and I need probably about five or six per year during the winter season. If you like the quality and efficiency of this video, contact Deluxe Mineral for the next time you're ready to buy or sell a home.